Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to make this handbag here. Okay, I bought these handles at Amazon. On Amazon, you don't have to use those. You can make your own handles. It'll look just as good with your own handles. But in case you're interested, these are just black leather handles and they are uh, 13 inch handles. The brooch, I bought at Walmart and the beads, I bought at Walmart. I did not string these beads. They come pre-strung at Walmart and I just um, strung them. I just hooked them right around my handle. I did not do anything special to them. I left them the way that they came. Um, this bag is pretty easy. It's as long as you can do front post triple crochet and double crochet. I did not line this bag. Of course, you can line it if you want. I do have videos showing how to line a bag. I'll give you a quick measurement though. It's about 14 inches across and from the brim down is about 12. So uh, let's go ahead and get started on this. Okay, for this project, I'm using Red Heart with Love a Metallic, which is um, a medium a four weight, almost a 100% acrylic, minus the streamers that run through it to make it sparkly, which is the other fibers. You do not have to use this yarn. Any, any medium four weight yarn will work. The color I'm using is called charcoal. There are 200 yards per ball, I believe. Yes. And I went through about a ball and a half. So you're going to need about 300 yards to finish this bag to make it the size that I did. And then I'm going to be using a size J, which is a six millimeter crochet hook. So we want to start off with a chain. Well, slip knot on our hook. As always, slip knot. And then we want to start off with a chain of 90. And now we're going to follow the chain down without twisting it. And we're going to slip stitch into the first stitch to form one large ring. So we're starting at the base of the bag. And then we're working up and then once we've finished we will come back here to the base and sew the base together so go ahead and slip stitch that so now you have one large ring and we're going to start by chaining one we're going to go back into the same spot that we just slip stitched into and work a single crochet and now we're going to work across the chain and we're going to work one single crochet in every stitch all the way around until we get back to our starting point. So one single in every stitch all the way around our big ring until we get right back here to where we started. All right, once you make it all the way around back to your starting point, you should have a total of 90 stitches at the end of round one. So we're gonna end by slip stitching right here into our first single crochet. Not the chain one that we did, but the first single crochet. Okay, now we're gonna start round two by chaining one. Now that chain one does not count as a stitch. We're going to double crochet right back into that same stitch there that we just slip stitched into, like that. And now I'm going to work one double crochet in every stitch around until I get back to my starting point. So round two is just one double crochet in every stitch all the way back around to the beginning. All right, once you make it to the end of round two, you still should have a total of 90 stitches. So we're gonna go ahead and end by slip stitching into our first double crochet, just like that. Now round three will be the repeat round for the rest of the bag until we get it a little taller anyways. So we're going to chain one, which does not count as a stitch. We're gonna put one double crochet into that very first stitch. And then we're going to put one double crochet into the next stitch. And now we're going to put one front post triple crochet over the next three stitches. 
So we're going to yarn over twice like we're going to do a triple crochet. And we're going to go around the post of the next stitch. And we're going to go ahead and then do our triple crochet around the post. Just like that. We want to do that three times in a row. So that was one. So we're going to do another one into the next stitch or around the post of the next stitch. That's two. One more time. And that is three. So that's kind of the repeat we're going to do. So we're going to start again. We're going to put one double crochet into the next two stitches. Just one regular double crochet. So there's one. And there's two. And now we're going to put a front post triple into the next three. So we're going to yarn over twice. Go around the post of the next stitch. Do our front post triple. And we need to do that three times. So that was one. And that's two. And that's three. And now we're going to repeat it again. One double crochet into the next two stitches. There's one. And two. And then we're going to do a front post triple into the next three. So there's one. two and three and that's the pattern we're going to repeat all the way around until we get back to our starting point you'll be able to see the post stitches better once we get more rows on them but it's one double crochet into the next two and then a front post triple crochet into the next three And I'm going to repeat this pattern all the way around until I get back to the beginning. And that's what it starts to look like. All right, I have made it to the end of round three. You should have three front post triple crochets there at the end. And you want to go ahead and end by slip stitching into your first double crochet. 90 stitches is what you should still have. Now 90 stitches is the magic number. That's what you're going to have at the end of every round. So for round four, we're just going to repeat round three again. We're going to chain one and we're going to put a double crochet in that first stitch and then a double crochet into the next stitch. And then we're going to put a front post triple crochets around these next three front post triple crochets. So what we're doing is repeating round three and we're just going to keep repeating it until we get our bag a bit taller. There's three. And then we repeat that again. One double crochet into the next two stitches. There's one and two. And then one front post triple crochet into the next three. So I am going to keep a repeating round three. At the end of every round, you'll always have 90 stitches. I'm not quite sure how many rounds I'm going to do yet, but I'm going to continue working. And I'll let you know here in just a second how many total rounds I do. All right, I have went ahead and done a total of 17 rounds. That starts from the very beginning all the way up 17. You can do more if you want, or you can do less. I'm gonna go ahead and put a brim, like kind of a little bit of a brim on the top of it. And I'm gonna be doing it by doing some single crochets and some single crochet decreases. So now what I wanna do is chain one. And now I'm going to work eight single crochets in a row. So the first one starts right there, as always. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
and eight. And then we're gonna do a single crochet decrease, which has worked over two stitches. So we're gonna go into the next stitch and draw up a loop. And then the next stitch after that and draw up a loop. And then I'm gonna yarn over and go through all three loops. That's a single crochet decrease that took two stitches and made it into one. So that's what I'm gonna repeat all the way around. One single crochet into the next eight stitches. And then single crochet decrease over the next two. Just like that. Again, one single crochet in the next eight. And single crochet decrease over the next two. I'm going to repeat this pattern all the way around until I get back to my starting point. Okay, I made it back to the beginning. Your last stitch should be a decrease. You should have ended in a de decrease and you should have a total of 81 stitches now at the end of round 18. So now we're going to decrease again. So for round 19, we're going to chain one. And now we're going to put one single crochet into the first seven stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then we're going to decrease over the next two. So that's the repeat now for round 19. One single crochet into the next seven. And decrease over the next two. So I'm going to repeat this pattern all the way around back to my starting point. All right, I have made it to the end of round 19. Should have ended in a decrease, and now you should have a total of 72 stitches. And we're going to go ahead and end by slip stitching into our first double or our first single crochet. And that'll end round 19. Now I'm not going to do any more. Uh, decreasing. I'm going to work some rounds of single crochet at the top. So I'm going to chain one for round 20. So round 20, 21, and 22 are all going to be the same. One single crochet in every stitch. So I'm just going to work around. I'm on round 20 right now, putting one single crochet in every stitch. No more decreasing. When I make it back around, I'll still have my 72 stitches. And then I just want to end the round and start again. Round 21. One single crochet in every stitch. You'll still have 72 stitches. And then when you end the round, you'll go around one more time for round 22. So we're doing three rounds of one single crochet in every stitch, 72 stitches at the end of every round. And I will meet back up with you when I get to the end of round 22. All right, I went ahead and finished out to round 22 and I just slip stitched there into my first single crochet. Still should have your 72 stitches and go ahead and tie off, just like that. Now, if you wanna do a bigger brim, by all means, you can go higher or you can even leave less rows if you want. It's up to you, it's your bag. But now we're gonna sew the bottom shut. So what you wanna do, I like to try to find the seam of the bag and try to keep it on the side if I can. That way it's not quite so visible. I mean, not, it ain't going to be exact, but but you also want to make it look pretty even on both sides. So, so I got three rows. Here's my post stitches. They're both on this side. And when I flip it over, there we go. The post stitches are on this side also. So that looks pretty good. Just get it lined up how you want it to look for when you sew your bag together. Now you can sew it using um, a yarn needle and just a piece of yarn. I'm actually going to slip stitch mine together. So I'm going to flip mine upside down like this. 
and I'm going to work starting at the bottom. Now remember to get it all lined up exactly the way you want it to look because once we get the shell to shut, and all you do is go through the stitch on one side and then the stitch on the other piece. And we're basically, we're just slip stitching it together. So I'm going to chain one and then I'm gonna go into the next stitch and the next stitch on the back piece. Um, right here and slip stitch. I'm gonna do this all the way down the bottom. Just slip stitching it, I'm trying to get my tails out of the way until it's all sewn together. Now, if you have trouble slip stitching, you can always, like I said, use a yarn needle and sew this up. You could single crochet it together if that's easier. It may not look quite as neat as a slip stitch, but single crochet will still work. I do that sometimes, single crochet the bottom of my bag shut. But this time I'm slip stitching. If you find it easier just to sew it with a yarn needle that's fine too i do that too often so i'm just going to continue across the bottom slip stitching it together until i get to the end and then i'll just tie off and then i'm going to hide any remaining tails i have before i put on my handles So just like that, getting it all sewed up down there at the bottom. Okay, now once you get all your tails hidden, everything looking how you want it to look, you want to sew on your handles. Now, if you don't have the same kind of handles that's me, that's fine. Whatever you can, like I said, I got these on Amazon. You can crochet your own handles, uh, two short ones, two long ones, one long one, whatever you want to do. You can, another good place to get handles is at uh, resale shops off old bags. So, if you do happen to have handles like mine, I'm just going to use a regular thread and needle, and I'm just going to eyeball it, line them up to about where I think they're even, and then I'm just going to sew it on to my brim. So, these have the holes already, and it's just real easy. You just go through them and sew them on right where you want them well, like I said if you don't have these don't worry about it your own crochet handles will, will work just this fine or just as good too it'll look just as good so I'm gonna go ahead off camera and get these sewed on you just go through the holes back and forth with a regular thread and needle. Pretty easy to get them sewed on. A little time consuming, I guess, but <laughs> still pretty easy. Just like that. So I'm going to go ahead and do this um, on both handles. All right, once you get both your handles sewed on, sewed on, that is it. I just put a brush on and some beads on for decoration. Now, if you want to line it, you want to put your handles on first and then line it. I'm not going to line mine. I do have videos on showing you how to line a bag, but this one I'm not going to line right now. I'll probably line it another day um, off camera. But but yeah, if you want to line it, now is the time to line it to, uh, before you put any decor on. And after you put your handles on. But that's it. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, and don't forget to check out all my other tutorials. If you look to the right hand side. I'll put a playlist of all my other bags. I have hundreds of tutorials of bags on my channel. So if you want to take a look at them. Right there on the right hand side of the screen. Thanks everybody for watching. Have a good night.